Here we will demonstrate how to determine the level of water in a well using the airline method. This can be done under static or pumping conditions. Groundwater levels in general have declined throughout northern Illinois, particularly where there has been heavy pumping, such as in the Chicagoland suburbs. It's important to track changes in water levels over time to ensure an adequate water supply for each community, which is why we encourage water operators to report static levels on the yearly Illinois Water Inventory Program form. You will need a source of air to pressurize the airline, such as an air compressor or a scuba tank fitted with a regulator, which is the setup used here. In this first example, a pressure gauge attached to the airline is being used to determine the water level. Hook up the air source to the Schrader valve stem and start pressurizing the airline slowly. It's important to let the air in slowly so that the airline doesn't get blown out. Pressurize the airline so that all the water gets purged out of the tubing and then remove the air source. If you pressurize the airline enough to purge all the water out, the needle on the gauge will fall fairly rapidly and will stabilize to a certain reading. In this case, the gauge reading is 80 feet. Do this several times to make sure the needle keeps falling back consistently to the same reading. The reading on the gauge tells you the height of water in feet above the top of the pump. If your gauge is only in PSI, just multiply the PSI reading by 2.31 to get feet of water. Often not enough air pressure is used to purge all the water out of the tubing, resulting in a bad reading. Here you can see that not enough air was used because the needle didn't fall rapidly back to our reading. Again, if we pressurize it more but still haven't purged all the water out of the tubing, the needle still won't fall rapidly. Now if we pressurize it enough to purge all the water out of the tubing, we see that the needle is falling rapidly back to our consistent reading of 80 feet. Once you have a consistent gauge reading, subtract that number from the length of the airline to determine the depth of water in your well. Often the pump setting is the same depth as the length of the airline. In this case, the airline length is 200 feet our gauge reading is 80 feet, giving a depth of water of 120 feet. Airlines can be pinched or can leak, resulting in bad readings. If your airline is pinched, the needle won't move once you remove the air source, and subsequent pressurizing will result in higher and higher readings. If your airline leaks, then the needle on the gauge will keep falling back all the way to zero. In this next example, a direct reading gauge is used to determine the water level. A direct reading gauge is similar to a pressure gauge, but will determine the depth of water in your well without having to subtract the reading from your airline length. The direct reading gauge should be set to your known airline length. In this case, the airline in this well is 200 feet long, which is where the pin is set on the gauge. If the length of your airline ever changes, you could easily change the dial by removing the face and rotating the numbers until the airline is in line with the pin on the gauge. Pressurize the airline enough to purge all of the water out of the tubing. Again, the needle should consistently fall back to a certain reading. The reading on this gauge will be the depth of water in the well and no subtraction is needed. In this case, we are getting a depth of water of 120 feet, which is the same water level that we came up with using the standard pressure gauge.